What is up fellow explorers? Well, we're back here at Oak Hill Memorial Park in San Jose, California. We're going to explore a little bit more of this cemetery. There's parts of it that the last time I covered it, I didn't get the whole thing. So let's go check some stuff out and see what we can find. Look at this interesting one. These are pictures. This is, God, this is awesome. 1919, 1912, 1932. Now this one is old. This one is like almost completely rubbed off. I think the name is, I think it's Fuller. And we got here, 1885, 1860, or 1960, excuse me, 1886, 1916, and 1854 to 1917. As you can see, this is kind of hard to see, but this is an interesting trip. Waterbury is the last name on this beautiful, beautiful structure here these guys they got their, their initial on the door very very nice the stained glass is in the back they have some kind of wire mesh over the stained glass though to protect it and this is the inside as you can see up in the top there that looks like some kind of nest don't want to get too close to find out what that is but and you can see what's going on in here well let's not get too close because I don't don't know what nest that is in there. This one right here looks pretty awesome. As you can see this one with the bust on it. There's something here, it's not in the English, most of it, but then at the very bottom it says, Here lies in Christ, William Daniel, the great Assyrian poet, composer, and orator, born March 17th, 1903, died December 18th, 1988. I know there's a shadow casting, it's the way the sun is hitting me today, so I'm sorry if you're catching my shadow and a lot of this stuff. This is a very awesome grave. That's the bust. Look at this beautiful one. This is the Cook family. Albert Cook, born August 15th, 1838, died 5th of December, 1885. He's got his spouse Elizabeth in here. And there's some other family members by the name of Frederick and Jesse. This thing is awesome. This thing is truly amazing. The marble. This is nice. It's kind of hard to see inside. This is awesome. Yeah, the Simpson family. This is beautiful. We got Elmer Simpson. Let's see here. San Jose Evening News, July 26, 1910. Simpson, San Jose, California, July 25th, 1910. Elmer E., beloved husband of Annie E. Simpson and father of Clara, Carl, and Dorothy Simpson, and son of Mr. and Mrs. J.M. Simpson and brother of John Simpson. Miss George Connor and Miss Clara Picknell, a native of Santa Cruz, California, aged 46 years, 11 days. Oak Hill Cemetery. So I found an old newspaper clipping of uh, Elmer and Annie, 
his wife is in here also. And there's glass on the door. Oh, there's, um, the family still keeps this nice. There's actually uh, cremated remains on the table straight ahead. As you can see there, there's the table of cremated remains in there. They look, they look pretty recent, like the, the containers are pretty uh, good. One is actually Elmer. So that's interesting. I guess Elmer was cremated. Bertha Howard, very interesting. She died very suddenly on March 24th, 1907 at her home in Los Gatos. And when she died, it looked like her a state was worth $75,000, but I'm sure back in 1907 that was like probably like a million dollars today, or at least a hefty sum of money, as you could tell, they had money to be buried. Ah, there's another nest in there. I don't know if it's a bird nest, or I don't know if it's... Looks like it could be a bird nest. There's only three people in here, Thomas, Bertha, and Glenn. Yeah, I think that may be a bird's nest up there. I hope. <laughs> this place is truly, truly awesome. And like I said before, it's massive. No joke. There's an interesting little uh, monument up here. The Sarkissian family here, it looks like. It looks big. Hard to see with the sun, but. On the little thing where Hag's name is over here, it says Champion Roller Canary Breeder. <laughs> Guess he breed the canaries. Pretty awesome. And then on the other bench over here, it just says Loving Memories Last Forever. This is actually very nice, very pretty. I was trying to once again get access to the big grand mausoleum at the top of the hill. Um, it was actually, the doors were open today, but there was a worker outside and I had asked him, is this open now to go in? Because last time I was here, it was closed. The worker told me, no, it's still closed due to COVID. But the only reason why they have it open is for the bathrooms because nearby there was a family having a service, a funeral service, and they said they had it open in case the family had to use the bathroom and that the mausoleum should be officially opened at the end of this month. So I wanna come back and cover that mausoleum because it, I've seen pictures of it, it looks incredible, it looks crazy, and I wanted to visit the uh, final resting place of Paul Masson, the, uh, of the winery, Paul Masson Wines. Um, he is in that mausoleum too, and I wanted to visit that, along with uh, somebody else I was looking forward to. But um, this thing is, uh, this place is just awesome and beautiful. It's crazy beautiful and it's just big. Man, this thing goes from paved road in here all the way over to dirt road on some of these graves that are closer to the uh, street. It's kind of noisy over here. I don't know how well this is going to come out because the traffic's going by. Sometimes there's a break in traffic and it's not so bad, but um, yeah, we're on like dirt road now. In a lot of my videos, I have people in my comments asking me where I'm located because a lot of the places I go to have palm trees in the cemeteries. Well, I am in California. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be there or if something broke off somewhere. I'm not quite sure. Uh, look at this one. This one is beautiful. 
looks like a log. Here lies a woodman of the world, James R. Smith. And as you can see on there, it's like a, it's an axe. It looks like an axe and look like a hammer of some kind or a mallet. And as you can see, it looks like there's, you know, it's like rope. It looks like it could be like a log. This thing is very, very detailed and very, very awesome. Can't get over how well groomed this grass is here. This place takes care of their grounds. That is for sure. It looks great. A lot of places don't take this much care. Here's another one of these interesting stones. This is awesome. Looks like the Effa. I can't make out the last name. Died in 1911. Looks like there's uh, grapes or something on it. Yeah, this one has, wow, there's a missing faceplate on somebody here. those of you Oakland Raider fans on this one there you go that's that's nice I like that stone there we go the Fleming Pretty clean inside too. Looks like they probably take care of it. His family does probably. Here lies the final resting place of Henry Kurtner. He was a businessman. He arrived in California on October 20th, 1852 with $20 in his pocket and worked for farm wages. Later he bought land in Centerville and quickly began to achieve his status as a millionaire vast landowner and one of the valley's greatest philanthropists. A successful landowner. In 1868, he purchased Rancho in what is now Milpitas, California. Today, there are historical exhibits which can be visited by special arrangement with the city rags to riches in his biography. Kind of funny that the street this, this very cemetery is located on is Kurtner Road. So I guess the city even named a street after him too, I would assume. going to be it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching me. I know this was a little bit of a rushed uh, explore, uh, but I'm in the process of actually getting ready to go on vacation in a couple days. So I do need to get home and start preparing for that. If you are enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon. Therefore, you can be notified of all of my future uploads, guys. I'll see you guys very, very soon. I'll talk to you later. Thank you for watching. This video was made possible with the help of viewers just like you. Please consider supporting us on Patreon. Just as little as $1 a month can go to help fuel future videos and help the channel run smoothly. The link to our Patreon is in the drop down description box of this video. Thank you.